I'm rocking Tommy Hella Figure. I'm my fucking underwear. Got my covers on. What the fuck? You already know I'm in my SUV. Call that bitch a big truck. I whip it. Like my nigga Richie Bella. He make the pussy so wet it gets wet up. So apparently in the video that recently surfaced, uh, Jake Paul apparently dropped the N-word in a freestyle. And so apparently he was at Palm Springs um, in Coachella the weekend of 2015, letting you know this video happened years ago. And he was freestyling over Ray Schmerd's Throw Me Some More beat. And early in the video, around seven seconds, he raps about something little a... Well, I guess I should preface this by saying that I am going to read what has been written here. So if you are offended by curse words or swear words, whatever you want to call them in any way, um, skip forward in this video for again, for purposes, I'm going to actually read what he said. So, OK, so around seven seconds, he raps about little ass niggas. And then later on, he says, I whip my nigga, Richie Vetter. He make the pussy so wet, it gets wetter. All right, though, those are the lines, apparently the two biggest controversial lines that he has in there. And again, a source connected to Jake tells us that the 20 year old isn't racist, um, that you know, him rapping over Ray Schmerz track should be proof that he is not racist. And they pointed out that he just did a collab with Slim Jimmy for his Christmas album. And then of course he did the Everyday Bro remix with Gucci Man. Now, some people might make the comment of, okay, well, how come he has no black people in Team Tim? That's an irrelevant topic right now. We're not talking about Team Tim. We're specifically talking about Jake Poppers. I know someone's going to put that in the comment section, but saying Savage, he doesn't have any black people and never has had any black people in Team 10. Look, that's irrelevant at this point. You want to talk about Team 10? We'll talk about Team 10 in another video. This is the case where Logan Paul is in so much controversy right now that anything that Jake does is also gonna catch wind. Again, it's not like he put this video online. From what I'm understanding and from what I'm reading on TMZ's report, Jake Paul didn't put this on YouTube. It was a video that was leaked and that somebody filmed and recorded. And for all we know, we don't know if he knew someone was recording this. So he was probably just around his friends goofing around saying all of this because Again, he knows that if he drops the N-word and puts it online, he's going to open him up for a whole shit ton of scrutiny. And again, you have other people who said the N-word in the past, like Eminem, when that video surfaced of him, uh, or it was a video or audio surfaced of Eminem uh, doing an underground freestyle, and he dropped the N-word. He got a whole bunch of controversy and flack for that. And if you're feeling me, holler back. If you're still a nigga, holler back. Woo! I can see your people where you at. You have J-Lo who did her I'm Real remix with Ja Rule, and she said the N-word in there. Now, J. Rule came out and said that he wasn't bothered by her saying in a real the N-word and actually encouraged her to put that in there, but she was met with a whole bunch of controversy. And the reason it's met with a whole bunch of controversy is because the N-word is typically a word that white people or Caucasians or other ethnicities use to show a sign of disrespect. Now, from my understanding, when you use N-I-G-E-R or N-I-G-G-E-R, that's showing a sign of disrespect. But when you use G-G-A, that means my homie. I mean, you had the guy YG make the song, my hitter or my nigga, that was saying, that's my homie, that's my homeboy. So when he was saying these lines, he could have just been saying, that's my homie, Richie Vetter. So I don't think he was necessarily trying to be disrespectful when he said that. And again, I don't like the N word either way it goes. I can't stand the word. I hate the word. I truly do not like the word at all. I don't care who says it. I just don't like it. But in this particular instance, I don't think the guy was trying to be necessarily disrespectful when he was saying this again. He didn't put this video out himself. It was leaked out. TMZ got a hold of the video. So I honestly think he was just doing this for the lulls, as people would say. I don't think he was, if he really wanted to put this out, he would have put it out, but he didn't. And then it's another thing. If he actually sat down and wrote this freestyle out, he just freestyled and it came off the top of his head. Sometimes when you freestyle and you, you know, you're spitting things off the top of your head, you don't know what's going to come out. And then there's the whole philosophy of if you listen 
to certain songs, eventually what they say in those songs is going to spew out through you, uh, whether it's on purpose or on accident. I know I've been caught in controversy before where I'm dropping a freestyle and I have been listening to a certain thing and then a word or something comes out and then I'm like, uh oh, what did I just say? But when you're in the moment, you're doing a live freestyle. You don't know what's going to come out of your mouth. So again, I'm not mad at Jake Paul for dropping the N word. Again, the word that he used, if he used G-G-E-R or G-E-R, however you want to um, spell it, if he used that one, that's when we, I could see the controversy and everything. But from what I understand, he dropped G-G-A. And that's a sign of showing respect, my homie. I mean, again, I had friends growing up who, who weren't black that said the word all the time. Now, growing up, the word didn't bother me, but as I got older, I just got tired of hearing it because I was like, I felt like it's one of those overused words that I don't want to hear anymore, but rappers aren't going to stop saying it anytime sooner. So again, I'm not mad at Jake Paul for him dropping the N word. Again, it's not like he actually put this video out. If he put the video out himself, then I could see where people could be a little upset at him about that. But that's all I have to say about Jake Paul dropping the N word in the new freestyle. Let me know down in the comment section below. What do you think about this particular topic? Are you offended by him dropping the N word in the freestyle? Do you think this was an accident? Do you think this video wasn't even supposed to happen? Again, this is a video that TMZ got. And most times from what we understand, TMZ loves to leak things out that the celebrity or the aforementioned person in the video normally doesn't want the public to see so let me know your thoughts on that below and again guys thank you so much for watching this video please smash the like button i can't stress that enough also make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are liking the new content and the videos and everything make sure you also tap the bell so you'll be notified every time a video drops that's very imperative and very important thank you and later guys <music>